I've been doing this stuff close to 20 years. Probably diagnosed, I, I was counting the other night, close to 60,000 cars. And I'm going to tell you, I still see new problems today. Every single week there's new problems coming. So you can't use a tactic that, well, it's probably the same problem. It could be similar, but not the same. So you just have to watch out your tactics. So here I am trying to present 10 case studies to show you what happens along the way. And just put a little theory in it, too, to make it a little interesting. And just see what you guys would do, guys and girls would do, if you come across these particular problems. Our, our first victim here is a 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And the guy hired me because he had a, a no start, no communication error. And he said, I, I, put an EC, I, I got an ECM for it. And I want you to come and program it. So I can go to the shop either as a salesman, so I put the salesman hat on, or I can go there as a diagno diagnostician. But when he does put the computer in and buys one, I always try to interrogate him a little bit before he goes to buy one just to make sure he made the right decision. Because I don't want to go there and have to program it and go, well, guess what? That wasn't the problem. So what are we going to do now? So I take the salesman hat off. I put the technician hat on. I'm like, you know what? Let's just diagnose this car for what it is, because if we figure out what it is, we can at least bury this thing. Now, I got news for you, because the other day, I had a guy with a, with a corroded transmission computer, and, I, I, and you can't force stuff. I'm pushing the connector in, it wouldn't go too good. I'm like, why is that going? I didn't force it. I pull down, I see the other two pins, I go, <gasps> they went like this, <gasps> I'm like, dude, what happened? Well, you all right? Both pins started pushing back into the ECM. I would have ruined that new ECM, and here's why. Look at this. Look at this, just like he said. Look at this. See him right there? Look at him. Look at him. I said, dude, how are you going to get those out of there? And his wife works with him. And she's like, I'll get it out with my little needle. She has a little, I don't know, thread and needle. So I'll, I can get that out. I'll work it for a while. I'm like, you're going to have to work that for quite a while. I don't know how you would get that out. I mean, you'd have to replace it. But she claims she can take it out. All right, good. She's like, a, like, I don't know. She's got an extractor on her side there with her little patch. Extractor woman. So I said, go, do it. Save a lot of money for your husband there. But just, just, keep, just keep smart. When you see things, just be careful. Because I, I almost ruined that new ECM because I, I didn't force it all the way. I'm like this. I didn't realize the pins were in there. I thought they disintegrated. So I hope that all the information I gave you guys tonight, guys and girls, is going to help you down the road to think a little different. And if you run across one of these jobs, think about me. And say, you know what? I seen it John's class and it paid off. So I hope you really enjoyed tonight's class. All right?